Well, uh, going in for a two-night backpacking trip, a uh, destination, climbing McKenzie Mountain here uh, in the Lake Placid area, um, the Adirondacks. Um, looks, feels like spring, all this, uh, you know, slushy snow. Um, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. McKenzie's a nice, challenging peak. I'm going to go in just a couple of miles, set up camp, climb the mountain, hopefully tomorrow. There's the uh, Lake Placid lean-to. Um, tempting <laughs> to stop here, but I don't know. Not a big fan of lean-tos, they're cold. Um, and I did want to make it a little further tonight than this lean-to, so I don't think I'll stop here. tent spot right here it's not ideal but it'll do home sweet home well for two nights anyway got camp all set up and uh, looking forward to a nice night here I'm gonna make myself a warm drink here pretty soon and uh, call it a early night probably looking forward to the uh, to the hike tomorrow I'm gonna climb uh, Mackenzie Mountain and uh, should be Beautiful conditions, uh, weather forecast looks really good. Sunny, warm, feels like spring weather. Actually, this feels like spring trip, melting snow, and uh, nothing wrong with that. This is my water supply, believe it or not. It's coming down underneath this, uh, underneath this log. Well, good morning. Um, I'm at the uh, the turnoff here, the trail junction for um, the trail going up to uh, Mount McKenzie. Looks like a nice trail to start there. The description is that it's uh, steep, uh, some scrambling involved perhaps, um, and uh, so we'll see. <laughs> is this typical of Adirondack trails or what? Right up a creek bed. Well, this is uh, the beginning of the climb. Doesn't look too bad to start anyway. Well, so far so good. I'm probably halfway up uh, what they describe uh, as the steep section. Hasn't been bad. Yep, some scrambling, uh, but uh, not bad at all. Uh, another month or so when there's ice on this trail. Yeah, that could be interesting. Um, but uh, today, it's in the 40s, maybe even almost 50 by now. And, uh, you know, you know the trail's wet, but, uh, you know, the footing is good. <laughs> so get this. There's five summits on McKenzie. Four false ones and one real one. So... Um, I just went over the first false one and uh, I got uh, um, four more to do before I hit the real summit. Um, but the steep climbing's over, so uh, looking forward to getting up on top. Should be some great views. Well, that's uh, false summit number two, I think. There's the trail off to uh, false summit number three. Coming up, number three. Looks like we might get a peak here. Yeah, I think that peak in the distance there, I think that's McKenzie. And I think that bump uh, just right over there, I think that's my fourth false peak. So, a little ways to go here. Making it though, getting there. Nice up here, boy. Woo. Well, I'm on 
Fultz Peak number four. And uh, there is my destination, Mount McKenzie right there. But before I get there, I've got to I've got to go down this gully and uh, probably two tenths of a mile over to uh, to McKenzie from here. So steep down, steep up, and then I'm there. Yahoo! Made it. <laughs> Top of McKenzie. Um, it's a good climb, and uh, uh, but well worth it. I had to put the micro spikes on a little bit of snow and ice uh, over on uh, Fault Summit number four. And, uh, but other than that, piece of cake. Gonna go see, uh, get a view here, have some lunch. Beautiful. Good morning. Um, just, uh, it's a last morning. I'm um, just uh, breaking down camp and, um, having a cup of coffee and a um, few minutes I'll make some breakfast and uh, just getting ready to, to head out. Had a great day yesterday, climbed Mount McKenzie. A couple of words on Mount McKenzie. It's, uh, it's every bit of, uh, as tough as many of the high peaks, uh, but at 3861 elevation, it's not a high peak. Um, but it's a good, uh, tough climb and uh, um, so Definitely worth the effort though. The views were great and uh, enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I did put on micro spikes on one section and that was on the other side between the fourth fault summit and the peak itself, McKenzie Mountain. Um, going down, um, there's a steep section going down on the other side of uh, the fourth high peak, uh, the fourth fault peak. And, uh, <clears throat> and there's some ice, a uh, little section of ice in there. I was glad I had the micro spikes. There was a kid coming in behind me, he didn't have them, and he was fine. You know, you just be careful. Um, but the recommendation is, you know, bring some micro spikes, especially in these, uh, you know, in the fall and spring, um, and of course winter. Um, but fall and spring, you know, there's going to be, you know, potential for ice on the trail on certain sections of it. You know, the trail goes through a lot of creek beds. And then when that ice is up, it's nice to have those micro spikes. So it was a great trip. Really enjoyed it. Um, Going to finish my coffee, as I said, to finish breaking down camp. And uh, head out and uh, drive home five hours and uh, celebrate with Debbie um, a successful trip. <laughs>